What is up, guys? So you just saw what we're doing today. We're doing a little paint pouring, and evidently the pool's going to help. Yeah. It's going to get messy. <laughs> He's not really helping. No. <laughs> so, Jamie Megan, I'm the husband. Together we bring you... DIY home decor for the non-crafty. Being her shirt. <laughs> so, we, uh, we got a project. It's actually an old project that we're going to redo with a paint pour. So, I will just get it switched over, and we can get going. And I will take that away from the dog. <laughs> All right. So we've done a few of these before. One live for you guys. A couple practice ones just to figure out what the heck. <laughs> so I think we're going to flood this with white first, correct? Yeah. All right. So this was um, an old Lazy Susan that I'm I made. Start. Yep. And uh, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So we took all the mechanisms off the bottom and uh, we're going to do a paint pour over it. We're going to try and do a paint pour over it. Well, we're going to do it. It's we're gonna pour, gonna that's try true. try and get a cool looking one. You know what? I don't know how thick. I think we're gonna need quite a bit more paint. I'm gonna have to take the nozzle off of that. We'll just dump her out. This is gonna get messy. Alrighty. What do you want to do first, babe? Which cooler? So we're going to do, what do they call it? The the hairdryer one. Dutch pour. Dutch pour. Oop. My paints are messy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard enough time with the chalk. I <laughs> paint all over me. If you guys did notice, we actually flipped the board. Well, we took a whole, we had a whole another one. It was the same damn thing. And we used the wooden side. Because the plaid was kind of starting to show through. Yeah. So, note to self, if you're going to reuse, sand it all down. I think we do a good amount of the teal first. Because when we do the hair dryer, I think that will come out. There you go. Oh, boy. Do your design. Weebly wobbly or however you all want right. it. So, the idea is, is we're going to take the Lazy Susan and turn it into a door hanger. Uh, one of them big round, round yep. door hanger things. Hey, so. you know what? If you guys want to see us do more crazy projects, give us one of the thumbs up. Let you know uh, you like stuff that we're doing. You like this one in particular. Whoa. That's a crazy pizza pie. Wow. And then? And then... Okay, so we got to tell them what we were using. So that one, that teal is Laguna. Yep. And the white is white. <laughs> Yes, it is. So here, and I forgot one, to mix these. This one is navy blue. Yep. And we just used a about a third paint, two thirds flow troll uh, for an add mix, and then a little bit of distilled water just to kind of blend to consistency to get it flowable, flowy. Oh, here. I see. You go ahead and mix. What's up? I didn't know what you were doing. Oh. Okay. Adding and mixing in the water. Yeah, yep. I just added a little distilled water to these to get them flow, that flowing. Works. Okay. Those are mixed. You can go ahead and pour that yeah. one. That's why I was bringing you the ones. Thank so this you. is the navy. And I think I'm just going to do a really big, fat... Big, fat stripe in the center? Yeah. Of navy. baby drizzle of a lighter blue. Super teal. The darky teal, which is... Okay, so the lighter blue was award blue, and the darker teal is Tuscan teal, in case you care. I don't know if you care, but I care, so. Well, it's nice to know the actual colors in case you see a color that you like. Yeah. You can go get you some. And then, do we want to do any of that one? Black, it's up to you. Design color choices are your area of expertise. We're going to do little baby bits of black in the middle of the blue. Okay. And then we're going to put. The super green. Super green. Well, we're also going to put a little bit of black right there. <laughs> Careful when you open your tops. <laughs> the 
It's a little baby ripple. Just the little ripples. And now, I've seen them where they do this. They'll put white or their base color along the edge and blow it over top. Are you going to do that? I don't know. I don't see what the difference does. Um, I, th I don't know. I was thinking kind of adds white into the center. So you get white in the middle, not just on the exteriors. Um, maybe. I don't know. This is a this is a learn with the Macon's experience. So this is the Ooh. lime green that is for the husband. One more. It's kind of neat the way it is, actually. So what do you think? You're just gonna. Ow! <laughs> do you want the white along the edge? You think? Uh, I think you kind of have to. To blow it in. Yeah. Okay. Blow it in and blow it out. We'll just do a nice little, oh, little valley cool of ideas. white here. That way you got a nice thick little area to pour into or blow into or I don't know. Let's be honest. We're doing it because other people do it. Yeah. We don't know. We why. saw it. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Let's here. just call it what it is. All right. Blow. You want me to go? You go for it. All right. I did all the colors. You can do the. Here we go. <laughs> the I'm just going to get this over. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, don't touch the nose of it into the paint. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So, note to all you guys out there making your own videos, our TV and our camera are right there, where you are. Don't use a hair dryer and blow towards the TV and the camera, because it gets all over. <laughs> Fix that here in a minute. Boy, that's kind of cool. I like yeah. the way it's breaking up. It's doing stuff. It is doing stuff. No, hang on. I want to. Oh, you want <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So one thing I did remember is they always go, usually, go through and get a little paint on the edge. Breaks the surface tension and allows the paint to flow better. And I forgot. Will you grab a couple of them cups there so I can get through? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think at this point we <laughs> let it dry and uh, 
We'll see you guys in your time in a minute and our time tomorrow. Because <laughs> this is going to be a while dry. That's thick. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Hey, if you guys like oh. it, thumbs up, subscribe, come hang out with us. We have some fun. We forgot to hit it with a torch. We forgot to hit it with a torch, but all worked out okay. <laughs> so, you know, we'll let it sit and see what happens with it. Yeah, the torch usually pops up some bubbles right. and things. So. Awesome. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, here is day two. Because this thing had to dry overnight. It was really thick. Mm -hmm. So, and it came out freaking awesome. Really freaking awesome. I love the colors. And it was kind of cool how it blended a little bit here when we blew the white back on top. So it changed the colors, and these are real vibrant, right? Saturated. That one. Because they're neither of those things. Oh. They're dark and they're. But, yes. Anyway. <laughs> um, one thing I will tell you if you're going to use real wood, thicker actual real wood, especially stuff that's glued together. Make sure you paint it first, a couple coats, seal it, because <laughs> there was so much moisture that the wood actually wicked the moisture out of the paint. And the, I don't know if you guys can see them, there's little cracks, yeah. little there joints, is. right where the wood is bonded together. Um, started opening them up. Um, you can see over here, there is actually a black hole black hole where there must have been a <laughs> hole in the wood and it sucked all the paint in so all the paint swirls kind of went it was really cool um the other pro tip um about the ceiling is it keeps it from getting warped this board is over an inch thick and it, <laughs> so make we sure you seal a, your stuff we have a towel under it so that we can work on it <laughs> it's pretty bad <laughs> yeah so We'll do that while Jamie's talking. <laughs> so originally this was just going to be a project to do, but it kind of turned into a project that's going to hang on our wall. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to do a door hanger, but it's really heavy and I don't want to break my door. <laughs> so we're, um, when you come in our, in the studio door, there's a wall. So we're going to put it there. So to welcome everybody that walks into the house and, um, so we're literally just going to put hi. Because <laughs> that's what we would say. Hi. We wouldn't say hello. Hi. <laughs> I got a couple different fonts. There's this big old chunky one. I was going to take this transfer and pull out the H and the I. But then I remembered I had this pretty scripty little thing and an exclamation point. So, hi. That suits yeah. us. <laughs> so that is what we are going to do. Yeah. So, I'm just going to use black, um, black paste down there, but... Yeah, just black paste to make it stand out a little bit. Where exactly would you like it? I'm going to do it right, right in there. Okay. Yeah. We'll give a little wax before we start. Yeah. Um, that looks good. That should be a pretty good sized area there for you to... Yeah. Do. Now, I'm only waxing right where we're putting the letters because this needs a clear coat um it looks really cool now colors are great but if you clear it it'll bring it back to that wet look where you really got the depth and the different dimensions and stuff to it so yep. we're gonna put our chalk on and then we're gonna clear coat it that's plenty so we will uh stick some pictures at the end here of the finished products hanging on the Hanging on the door. And this is by far not our last one. So, give us yeah. a like if you like these. And subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah. We if you like enjoy them. doing them or seeing them, we enjoy doing them. So, we'll make videos out of the ones we do because we're going to make more. These mm -hmm. are fun. And, you know what? I will throw a link below to some of the people that we watched learning how to do it. That's in a video. Yeah. Share the love. It's going to look good. It'll stand right off on that. Yeah. We're letting the professional chalker do it. Hi. Hi. Just a huh. Huh. We still need the <gasps> eye. 
Welcome to the weird. Apparently I'm weird today. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like that H dried at all, or you're just going to yeah. hold it up? I'd okay. It. Oh. Like I said, professional chalker. Until she remembers that her squeegee was over there. <laughs> Sound effects included. <laughs> Hi. I love it. It's big old exclamation points. Oh, that's too funny. Ooh, you're going to need a smaller squeegee for that. Nah. <laughs> we only went over the professional, huh? Hi. Very <laughs> cool. I love it. Yeah, there was lots and lots of choices to put on this, and I think the simple high. Just the simple high. Yep, came out very good. So, awesome. Well, thanks for coming to hang out with us, guys. Let us know what you think. Seriously, comments below. Um, we're going to do more, so even if we, you guys don't thumbs up it, we don't do it for you, give us color choices. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Pick yeah. colors. So, we have our colors that we use all the time, so it would be cool <laughs> to see some other ones. But, awesome. All right, guys. We'll stick some pictures up after this and you can see the finish with the clear coat and everything. Bye, guys.